Welcome back to Dare to Call Him Friend. And today, are you looking for a DIY manual? God would have made it so much easier for himself if he had just provided creation with a series of how-to manuals, complete with helpful illustrations and all the tools necessary to live our lives. Every package would include the highest standard of building materials, and everything would be clearly marked. Of course, he'd need to provide a web-based documented help section, but as long as people followed his directions, there wouldn't be any need for time-consuming communication. God could just sit back and relax while he watched his creation run like clockwork. Some preachers refer to the Bible as the greatest how-to manual ever written. However, I believe God intended his word to be so much more than that. God is the type of dad who wants to get on the floor with his children and help them build their lives to be all that he intended. He delights in answering our questions. He's the type of dad who loves to explain how things work. He's the type of dad who has oil under his nails, dirt on his nose, and a satisfied grin on his face as he works with his kids on an old clunker in the garage. He wants to sit around the kitchen table with his kids. He wants to make oatmeal cookies with them from scratch. And he doesn't care if things get messy once in a while. He knows it's all part of the learning process. An unknown author wrote this quote, the Bible is the only book whose author is always present whenever one reads it. God's word could be used as a mere manual. You could go through and find all the rules and all the things that Jesus told us to do, but you would be missing so much of the story. If you only see the Bible as a manual, it defeats its true purpose, and that purpose is to draw you into a closer relationship with God. If in the past you found Bible reading to be dull and lifeless and hard to understand, consider reading it with the concept of that quote and ask the author to come and sit with you and explain to you those passages that you don't understand and ask the Holy Spirit to come to give you revelation about passages in the Bible that God wants to open up to your heart. Read the Bible as if it is, as Augustine said, the Holy Scriptures are our letters from home. It's all about relationship with God. And he's not going to give us everything in a manual. Brian Hardin from Daily Audio Bible explains it like this. There are some passages in the Bible that are extremely hard for us to grab a hold of. And we might need to reread that passage many times. And perhaps we're wondering why there are certain stories in the Bible we need to remember this, just because a story is in the Bible, it does not mean that God condones in any way the behavior of the people that are mentioned in that story. It all boils down to this. Sit down, open your Bible or your Bible app, and ask the Lord to give you insight into the passages that he would like you to read. And don't be afraid to ask him the hard questions and don't get discouraged. If you are reading through the Bible, I really strongly suggest you do not read it cover to cover, but instead you follow a yearly, daily Bible plan. I'll put a link in the description to a few daily Bible plans that I have on my website, on one of my websites, 
and you can look at them. But if you read a little bit from the Old Testament, a psalm, a couple of proverbs, and a couple of chapters in the New Testament, you're going to not get so discouraged when those long genealogies show up in the Old Testament. May the Lord bless you as you seek to discover just how exciting the Bible can honestly be.